My name is Hank Lever. I'm the CEO of a company called Gonna Be. This is my story. We're on Facebook and Twitter and all this stuff all the time, but none of us are using any of that to make our plans. Why isn't there something in between where we can actually communicate with each other about what's going on later in the night? How many plans am I missing because I didn't text the right person? So, uh, we went into the Start Engine Accelerator program and everybody was excited about this thing. I mean, we're gonna be the next Twitter. So, it came to the end of the Start Engine Accelerator program and uh, we were presenting at the launch conference. This is the same conference that I think Dropbox and like Mint.com, like Netflix, like a bunch of companies had launched at the launch conference. Two days before the launch conference, the app is not ready. <laughs> it's, not, uh, it's not been approved by Apple. Nothing has happened like we wanted it to, and it was a disaster. And we're staying up all night trying to get it right. 24 hours before the launch conference, we hear back from Apple, and they said, your app has been rejected. So we begged and pleaded with them to do an overnight expedited service. They did it for us because we were like, we're gonna present in front of those important people in the world, please, 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 please. They approved it and we got up on stage having not, not even tested the app ourselves. We presented to uh, all of the most important investors I've, I would ever meet. 300 people downloaded the app in that 10 minutes or so. And I only know 300 because it never worked after that. Everybody was sending me emails. Your app doesn't work. This thing doesn't work. What's wrong? I'm beating this white screen to death. Oh my God. I started to freak out. Of course. Everything we worked on wasn't working. I, I, I did this. I, I, I don't know. We're going to work on it. We're going to work on it. We're going to work on it. Two days later, we have to go down and present to South by Southwest on stage again with an app that doesn't work. So I flew down to Austin, got up on the stage, and I was very scared. I was nervous. I was uh, frustrated. But at that time, what can you do? I'm still talking to everybody, the same as if the app was the next thing that was gonna change the world. Went back to the drawing board and said to the guys, all right, look, um, we didn't build it right. We need, uh, we need better development, we need more time, uh, we need some money, and um, we need to just start over again. My teammates said, um, well, we're not good enough developers to build in mobile, so we can't do anything. But we're out of money, start engine money's gone, so, um, you know, let's, uh, let's start selling, selling stuff. I'm just gonna go take it. I got a job offer at an agency, so I'm just gonna take that job offer. I had to go back out and find people to work with me again. I must have talked to every developer in Los Angeles and everybody who knew a developer in Los Angeles. I met um, snotty high school kids who thought they were Mark Zuckerberg, and I met like 55 year old veteran uh, coders who hadn't written a line of code in 10 years, and everybody in between. I had a ski boat uh, from, from back in my uh, uh, earlier days that. Uh, I wasn't using in LA for sure. I sold the ski boat, free up some some uh, some more funding for us. And that bought another hundred days. And that hundred days, we built the official gonna be app as strong and as robust as we wanted it to be, and we put it out in the marketplace. You guys remember the Twitter launch, or the Instagram launch, or the Facebook launch? Uh huh. Because they didn't do any of that. They did like this, nice and easy, test it out, get some early users, get some feedback. So that's what we've been doing. Uh, all along now, growing at our own rate so much better, so much better. We've just recently closed a round of funding. We got it from local angel investors in LA and a couple in San Francisco and a little bit of friends and family money in there too. We're excited because it gives us the freedom to plan three to six months ahead and really have a strategy towards what we're gonna do. We're all taking the minimum salary or payments that we even need. You have to in this early stage of the startup world. It's not about salary. The business needs to grow. Personally, I hope that the learning that's happened over the past year with our company, the ups and downs, the, the roller coaster, I hope that that continues in a way that, uh, that helps us all the more in the coming year that it has in this previous year. Because if we learn as much this year as we did last year, we're going to be in a whole different universe of understanding of the marketplace, and that's exciting. That's what I hope for us.